thinking the other day about Australia because I was in here the other day and the Australians were awake. Um, and how I got to, I, I got home and realized, holy crap, someone let me drive a car in Australia. Yep. Yes, and? It's a weird feeling to realize that there was a, there's a piece of my life for like two or three hours I was driving on the opposite side of the road. On purpose? On purpose. And it, it, and it was, I, I had to flash on, I had to like really remember and I was like, yeah, yeah, it was really hard and really tense and that's why I forgot about it. That's why I blocked it out. I recently realized that like, you may have heard me talk about my secret superpower, which was I can fall asleep on command. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And mm. since I left school, um, well, not on command, but like I can, I can you nap can when I need to. Yeah. yeah. And since I left school, that that ability has attenuated. And I realized as I was trying to prepare for Zeta by staying up later and later that that wasn't actually a superpower. It's when I experience stress, my body puts me to sleep. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> And I was just leveraging that through wow. school as yeah. one spinning plate among many. <laughs> right? And that's how I compartmentalized that physiological response to stress. Because I just love that idea of you getting really stressed and just hearing like the window shutdown noise as you just like <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah like a fainting goat. Mode. Right? No, the bo bodies are weird because, yeah, when I'm about to, like, if I'm, I understand, like, conceptually that performing live on stage is part of my job. Um, and in venues, like, you know, remember from the before time venues, we used to do music live. Um, mm. And, like, the ones where you are in a little cloistered room in the back of the venue, and the first time you see the audience is when you're at the side stage, they're sitting in the dark. That is a unique kind of, like, oh, I just got stressed all of a sudden. Like, mm. you can insulate yourself from it. And when, like, I hear the sound of people milling about in the room, and it's dark and it's cold, that when it hits my body, either I, ha I get really sleepy all of a sudden, or I have to take a dump. It's one of those two things. <laughs> like, in both cases, my forearms hurt. And I'm either like, I need to lay down, or I need to sit down. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I've actually heard the, the, the pooping thing. Yeah. Here we go. Is uh, your body trying to free up blood supply? Yeah, oh. or just trying to make you lighter so that you can flee, is what I've heard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am, yeah, I am on board with... Yeah, it's fight or flight. <laughs> fight and flight, and then there's nap or crap. Those yeah, 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 that's good. <laughs> Four types of people. I am, I'm definitely like, yeah, sometimes if I have eaten recently enough, getting to go on stage there has been that thing of like oh god now i gotta go use the washroom right right yeah as you like try to eject the warp core yeah <laughs> no ejecting the warp core is number three <laughs> right it just like it's uh it's a third button on your uh on your console it just says eject warp core right that's yeah. only there for one episode lever action yeah yeah most of us get away with only venting plasma <laughs> We talked about that weird third button on Foreign Legion of Burdock, didn't we, Corey? On the Star Trek chair? I swear we yeah, did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Watch Memories. everybody go go Google that. No. No. Is there like a, a, a two-dimensional grid we could assign to this? Like chaotic, chaotic, lawful, good, evil, only it's nap or crap and um, fight or flight? Oh, like purist mm. versus like uh, heretic, like a matrix. Yeah. yeah, or like you know, preppy goth <laughs> jock nerd. Lawful Are we crap, like, chaotic nap. on this graph. Like what? What the situations make us feel? Or I'm just putting people on it. Yeah. <laughs> Put me in the poop zone, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'd go in the nap zone. God, I now I'm just also remembering Riker Googling. There's a Twitter account called right. Riker Googling. <laughs> and my favorite was self destruct undo. <laughs> no, it was Slef Destruct Undo. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we have a blank. 
Yeah. Yep. Well, I yep. mean, like, I, I've got a bunch of euphemisms for toilet times uh, that are used in my household. None uh-huh. of them are pleasant, and I'm not going to tell you what they represent, no, but I will say that they are yeah. uh, winning the lottery and the grand reopening. Mm. Huh. That last one is cryptic. Probably you think you know what winning the lottery is? The grand reopening is definitely like... The... Yeah, that... Mm. <laughs> I don't want... I, 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 I don't want to try to dissect what, no, what those actually I, mean. I don't think we should. Right. Right. I imagine a grand reopening involves something being refurbished. <laughs> I have used... Uh, in the moon base, I've used... I have to go found a startup. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. I also like... Um, I need to go export some footage. Yep. <laughs> which just gets yeah. grosser the more you think about it. Yes. <laughs> and at school we had I need to go run a column. Mm. 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 Which is a, 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 a chromat- chromat- chromatography technique. I don't think anybody where I worked when I worked in the data center, I don't I never heard anybody in kind of that joshing, you know, joking around way being, I'm gonna go push to production. Mm. They never they never said that. that in my office, yeah. Yeah, they, make a git push. Git yeah. push, yeah. They would never do that in, in our office because people literally thought that's what you were going to go do. It's and, Friday afternoon. What yeah, are you don't doing? Push to production. <laughs> you that office now <laughs> The more specific the euphemism is, the more plausible deniability you have, yeah. right? Like, like uh, oh, I gotta go catch the two train. There's no such thing as the two train. Yeah. Your, your, mm-hmm. your alibi is falling apart. Whereas if it's like, I have to go shift a paradigm. Yeah. Yeah, I do like that one. Gotta go check Twitter. <laughs> I mean, That's just... it, is, it is really where the room in which you are constantly checking Twitter. Right? Clear out my so, timeline, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, like there was that question, like, what do you call tweeting from the toilet? And it's, it's tweeting. tweeting. Yeah. Tweeting. yeah. That's the default. Like we... <laughs> that was um, because Quibi went under, uh, we got from completely reputable sources, don't worry about it, um, just a dump of uh, Quibi shows. And I think that is the collective noun for Quibi shows because they are parceled out into such a size that you are supposed to watch them on the toilet. There's really no other venue I can think of. Mm. And I'm convinced that every vanity card at the end of every seven minute segment of a Quibi show should just have a toilet flush. Like, <laughs> just, just cover uh, your just own. Cover you. Or just run some water to help you finish. Right. Or that, you know, the little Japanese keychains you can get that make kind of a whoosh sound so that you can pee in privacy. Just something mm. like that. You know, when you said that, I was like, I don't know those things, but I instantly know those things. I've never yeah, seen one before in my life, but I know it is true they exist. Yeah, it looks like the thing you unlock your car with, but, you know, when you're unlocking your car. Uh, yeah, and I like some of, the, car. some of the Toto toilets play little songs for you. Not mine. Some no. of the Toto toilets. Yeah, I know. I, I mine is a, mine was a top of the line friggin'. It has we, a remote control. We, we, can <laughs> a, we can put a stereo something in the bathroom if you really want. No, it's, I mean... I'll make it motion controlled, and then when you pass by it, it'll play how, uh, going home yeah. with from or something. Closing this time. How far I've... away are you standing? <laughs> <laughs> like, does, is, it a, is it a remote... Like, do you have an app on your phone? Where you can I... just be like, flush. My god, I wish that was true. <laughs> no, I have, I have... I have... Um, it, the remote control is mounted on my wall, so when I want to when I want to run the when I want to run the jets, mm-hmm. when I turn on jacuzzi, I <laughs> I can just press the buttons on the wall. I don't have to like reach down beside me and fumble with whatever. It doesn't it doesn't flush because it's it's not that kind of a toilet. It doesn't like have a flush button. Or anything like <laughs> it's that. not that kind of. It doesn't flush. No don't composts. Worry. You know like. Oh, you want a flushing toilet? Yeah, but it's um. But also, though, when I, when I pull it out of its uh, when I pull it out of its um, mounting bracket, it has magnets too. But I pull it out of the man- mounting bracket. On the back, there's an LCD screen. <laughs> what? Yeah. I've never looked. At I've the never back showed of you it. the back of the remote, but on the back of the remote, there's an LCD screen. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because it allows you to change the temperature of the of the seat, the ch- the temperature of the water, 
and allows you to change. Uh, there's like a third thing that I almost never touch. Um, you know, danger, Helvetica situation. But anyway, um, but it also has a menu and you can go through the menu. Like when we first got it and I plugged it in, I would sit in this thing because it knows when you sit on it because of weight. So you sit on the thing. It's like, great, I've sat down. And then the fans would start and it sounds like a Voodoo 5. Like, like this thing just <laughs> cranks up. <laughs> And it's just like, and I'm like, that's a little like aggressive for a toilet. And I'm like, wait, does it do that so that it would cover the sound of whatever you might be doing in here, whatever like you know nonsense you're you're laying down? Does it have like AI adaptive behavior? It's just what did you do to this toilet? It, the reason it runs like that is because the deodorizer was on, and and I didn't know there was. I knew I there was a deodorizer, but I had no idea how it worked. <laughs> He yeah, you need to so God it now Nora sure. Furby, okay? So it just sounds like you're going to go play GL Quake? Yeah! <laughs> and it, so it's, it's very, it's, it's very, um, uh, it's, it was very loud and eventually, and, but the deodorizer worked aces. Like, it, it, I was like, wow, I, I smell nothing. And eventually <laughs> I had to turn it off because I was afraid that I would be using it at like two in the morning and I would be scaring my neighbors. <laughs> It's not a conversation you want to have with your with your downstairs neighbor. All right. <laughs> what kind of carnage is this toilet been engineered to cover for? We almost like, what had one at the moon base. Yeah, we almost had one at the moon base. This exact model I almost had installed at the moon base. And that's so why <laughs> I was going to get it. Because I'm like, I want one that's going to go to hell and back for what's coming out of my butt. Well, because it's not just your butt. It's the office's butt. Yep. It's true. You want to know it'll do a thorough job. It's, you, it's a hard a working toilet. Do. Paul had said to me that he wasn't so interested in us getting one because he felt that his first experience with such a device should not be in public. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know how we all how, stand around in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. How how private do you need? I think boy? just in your own home, like where no one is going to take it home and install it on his own toilet. I got bad news for you. In Korea, they have them at bus stops. Yeah. Most people experience them in public. Beach was 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 soundproofing not a consideration when installing this in the office or at the moon base. We <laughs> the, the point, I'll be honest with you. The bathroom door here is hollow core, and I wish it wasn't. Ah, uh, got it. Yeah. You just can't replace you... it with just some rock wool bricks. Just there are no secrets here. You can't you can't actually like hear people when they're in there because that would mean you'd have to be a creep and stand next to the door but like last night like it's i i will walk by and like yell out someone's name and i'll get a response because it's you want to know who's in there as you're going by just in case like i need to go in there and use it but just in case just in case right so it's like that kind of thing because it's a hollow core door <laughs> but anyway <laughs> Can Hi, we just back. fill it with I'm expanding nice. foam or something? I don't know. Maybe we should. I'm yeah. just imagining you, you try to film something on on one of the sets, and just all of a sudden you just hear. <laughs> oh yeah, that would make filming in the bathroom much more difficult. I think Beach is playing Unreal. <laughs> I watched um, Paul and Storm rehearse through a bathroom door once at the triple door. Uh, Cause Paul had to go put on his big boy pants, and Storm is just playing like White Snake or whatever, and he just <laughs> hit some chord, and you could hear through the <laughs> just Paul <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> it was a, a bond that I envied truly as a performer in that moment. <laughs> the kind of intimacy you can only build on tour. Ah. Uh.